and gentlemen, good evening, Biafrans all over the world. Good evening, the members of the Biafra Republic government in exile and the Biafra de facto government in homeland. Good evening, press people, ladies and gentlemen of the press that are seated here also to listen to me this evening on emergency space tonight. I want to thank the entire Biafrans for their cooperation, their resilience, and of course, the compliance in what we are doing, especially in the delegitimization of the Nigeria in Biafra land. I want everyone to understand as I will go closer to December 2024 convention in Finland, the enemies are panicking and are quaking. I want you also to understand that when a man is denied the right to live, the life he believes in, he has no choice but to become an outlaw. I want every one of you, Biafran people, to understand that our freedom is indivisible. The chain on any Biafra person today is a chain on all of us. The chain on my people of Biafra is a chain on me. And that's why, for those who are wondering, why do we have all this good life in where we reside on, you know, residing in, in, in a different part of the world and would decide and choose to fight for our people who are back home is because the chain on them is also a chain in all of us that are fighting from exile. My fellow Biafrans, today mark the ninth day of the 30-day lockdown of the Nigeria institution within Biafra land. And I want you to understand that we have recorded success in this phase of the delegitimization that has been enforced by the Biafra government. I want everyone to understand that as we approach this December, when they were thinking that what we are doing is joke, and all of a sudden they have come to realize that it's no longer a joke. A lot of propaganda will be flying out there. You may see uprise and upsurge of other many, many spokespersons coming, springing up from all over Nigeria, from Arewa to the Afonjas. All of them are coming on social media today to tell you who is working for Nigeria government and who is not working for Nigeria government. We have actually passed that particular stage. I am not here to debunk the nonsense propaganda. I'm just here to tell you, dear friends, that you must stand very strong. As more propagandas will be coming, you must stand very strong. We have been able to nurture you for a day like this. And that is the reason we must all be very, very tough in our standing family for the Biafra freedom. There is no other reason we are doing what we are doing today other than to be free from the Nigeria and the British enslavement. I want every one of you to understand that when the water start boiling, it becomes very foolish to turn off the heat. The water is boiling, the Nigeria is boiling, and it will be very foolish of you and I at this point that the water is boiling and Nigeria is boiling to quench the light. It's very foolish. We will never quench this light. We will never turn off this light and the heat that is making this water to boil because our main target and main reason why we put the heat on in the first place is to make the water to boil. Our water is boiling today. We will not off the, off the heat until we are done with why and the reason we put the water to that temperature. My brothers and sisters, my fellow citizens of Biafra, I want you to understand that in the coming days and weeks, a lot will be happening in Biafra land. The delegitimization of Nigeria will come with a lot of resistance. We are going to stand very firm to defeat this giant, this, this uh, giant Goliath, which is known as Nigeria. We, as small as we are, in David form, will show the mighty power of God that we worship in the coming weeks. I want you to understand that our aim and objective is to make sure that Nigeria never breathes till December. I told you people a few weeks ago 
that this particular phase we are entering is a phase where we will never allow Nigeria to breed till December declaration. My fellow citizens of Biafra, I want you to understand that those that are falling victims of Nigeria state terrorism, I want you to understand that every debt will be revenged. Every debt will be avenged by the Biafra government and Biafra forces. Nobody will kill Biafra under this my watch as a prime minister of Biafra government, both in the homeland and in exile, and they will live to tell the story. Those who committed these atrocities against Biafra in Obaro will be hunted down. The promise I have come to give you today is that those who perpetrated these heinous crimes, the terrorism against our people in Obaro, will be hunted down. I want you to go and mark this particular word I'm telling you today. All of them who came to Obaro to kill our people in the name of terrorism will be hunted down by the Biafra forces. It's not going to take time. And hopefully, we are going to post them on social media, how we have been able to decimate them in a few days to come. My fellow Biafrans, I have come to tell you this evening that the 21 days that is still remaining, you remember to stay out and stay away from Nigeria facilities. Very, very important. Stay away from any Nigeria facility. Stay away from Secretariat. Stay away from police. Stay away from the terrorist army. Stay away from their checkpoint. This is something that is going to take a lot of time for the delegitimization to completely take effect. It is going to take a lot, a lot of time. So if nothing is happening in your area, do not think that we have forgotten your area. The entire Biafra land is sealed, as I'm talking to you today. The entire Biafra territory is sealed. And simultaneously, the delegitimization of Nigeria will continue to take place. We will continue to defend our land against Nigeria terrorism. We will continue to defend our women and children against the onslaught and barbarism of the Nigeria state. We will continue to make sure that our women and children will no longer fall a victim of Nigeria terrorism. So I thank you this evening for joining to this particular emergency space briefing where we have come to update you on what is to come and what is happening. My fellow citizens of Biafra, I say again, when a man is denied the right to live the life he believes in, he has no choice but to become an outlaw. The Nigeria state will be met with the exact and the equal measure of force that have come to our land to kill our people. You saw what happened yesterday in Obaro. They killed our innocent people. Even when they were lying lifelessly on the floor, they have to pour a gasoline and set them ablaze. It is only terrorists that can do that. No trained military, no trained army officer will kill innocent people without gun and set them ablaze. It is the art of terrorism in the highest order. And my fellow Biafrans, I can never sleep until Biafra revenge what happened in Obaro yesterday. I swear to God, as a Prime Minister of Biafra, I will never go to sleep until we revenge the killings of the Biafrans in Obaro. And of course, as that is happening, we will be telling them how prepared we are to defend our land. I want you to understand that the kind of guerrilla warfare that we are fighting today is the kind, is the type that nobody have ever seen. And we are going to escalate it, escalate it until we get to the maximum level that we are looking up, looking up to. The declaration of the Biafra restoration of independence that is going to happen this December 2nd is sacrosanct. We are not moving, we are not quaking, we are not stepping back our feet an inch, we will continue to maintain this particular date and every work we are doing as a government will be channeled to make sure that this date remain and there will be no change, there will be no postponement. The 2nd of December is sacrosanct. And those of you who have the opportunity to be in Finland, you are still having the opportunity to go and register for the convention to be part of this historic day and historic event. 
my fellow Biafrans, we are making waves all over the world. The Biafra national team of football will be playing the first ever national international tournament somewhere in the world. And that place, I will not mention it at this point until the time is right. But just to inform you that the Biafra government has now a national team that comprises of professional football players of Biafra origin, and they will be representing Biafra for the very first time. Biafra will participate in international football tournament. Biafra national team will be unveiled on the first day of this tournament. My fellow Biafrans, those of you that still doubting what we are doing and the resolve to restore the independence of Biafra, we will shock you. I want you to understand that the Biafra Liberation Army and Resistance Fighters and Biafra Navy and all forces of Biafra are standing very firmly and they are gallantly defending our land, neutralizing these terrorists that come in the name of Nigeria forces in their different uniforms and categories in our land to kill and maim. Biafra resistance fighters will continue to defend our land against these terrorists. And so, whenever you see the activities of these Biafra defense forces going on, do not panic. They are not there for you. They are there for the enemies that carries gone to kill our people. I will be taking questions. This particular space shouldn't last more than 45 minutes. I will be taking questions, at least opportunity to give you, to ask questions that you know that bothers you, especially those who have not believed in the Biafra cause. I will welcome Yes, my people, this is where the Prime Minister's uh, speech ends. Remember that the not, today is the 10th day of the Biafra legitimization of Nigerian in, in Biafra land. Do not allow yourself to be caught across any incident. My people, you should learn how to stay away at this time. Our freedom is almost here. We have to listen and comply to everything that the Prime Minister have said. We are getting Biafra and nothing is stopping the Biafra liberation on the 2nd of December, 2024. Wonderful Biafrans, lovers of freedom, please, my people, those in homeland, be very conscious of your security. Stay away from any checkpoint, military barracks, and look after yourselves. Be your brother's keeper at this time. You know, it is only three months remaining, and this is going to be such a precarious period when every Biafran man or woman, children, should be extremely careful. Remember, this lockdown is not sit at home. Sit at home only takes place on Mondays. This lockdown is to ensure that Biafra land is safe. So, my people, I will love you and I will leave you from here. And I will say to you, keep well, all hail Biafra, we move.